Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be going over the Dimension Nails Born Innocent Collection. This is a collection that dropped last year in spring. Yeah, last year in spring. It was not their spring 2019 collection or anything because they don't release things that way. They release collections with a name and a theme and it's not really um, the spring 2019, the winter 2019. No, it's not, it's not like that. They're by theme. And so this one dropped last year around spring and it's made up of eight beautiful pastel colors. Couldn't be, doesn't get any more springy than that. Um, and as you guys know, spring colors tend to be pastels. Pastel colors tend to be white-based. White-based colors tend to have a crappy formula. A lot of times we deal with pastels because we love them. Because who doesn't? A lot of people don't. I don't know why I'm saying this, but... And anyways, but the formulas tend to be chalky and streaky and weird and need like three, four coats of nightmares. These do not. So we're going to go over them. We're going to do live swatches. I'm going to show you guys swatch pictures. Um, some of them are older because I've gotten these polishes throughout the months. I didn't get them all at once. I didn't swatch them all at once. So the swatch pictures, you're going to notice that they don't have the same format, which is what I usually do is the same. These are going to have like different poses and different nail lengths and whatever, right? Now, interesting setup, exhibit number two. I moved and upgraded from my floor next to my curtains and now we're level two, which is on my bed. So we're upgrading. Still a jungle out there in my house with noise and like two iPhones, an iPad, a TV, and I don't know how many things are being used outside. So there's not a chance in hell that I can go back into my nail room. So the bed it is, but we've upgraded. We're not on the floor. This is a fluffy little cloud. Much better. <laughs> Before we get through the swatching, I want to let you guys know that please make sure you read the description box below because I'm going to be putting information about a giveaway that is sponsored by Dimension Nails. So you guys get a chance to try these polishes if you win. Um, it's going to be a two-part giveaway. I'm going to be picking a winner from my Instagram and one winner is going to be from my YouTube. So just make sure you join both, you know, increase your chances of winning some goodies and you can enjoy some of these polishes as well. So without further ado, let's get swatching. Hatchling is a light pastel um, purple. It is a one coater and I usually do two coats, but for this one, I just didn't really feel like doing two because I felt like I wasn't going to be able to show you exactly how good it was if I did a second coat. So I wanted to just leave it on one and show you that. Um, this was the first color from this collection that I got. It was is my, one of my favorite um, from it. It's really, really gorgeous. The next one is Tadpole, and the description is very easy. I mean, it is a pastel green. <laughs> it's a great formula. Um, I mean, all of these do, so I'm not going to, like, continue to be saying th these have great formulas. You guys are going to see the formulas. Um, if you see that I do only one coat is because I want to show you how amazing it is. If you see that I do two is because maybe you just needed a little bit, um, you know, more help for total perfection. But anyways, the formulas are all great, so I'm going to stop repeating that. But Tadpole is beautiful. Next up, we have Kauf. Kauf? Am I saying that right? Kauf. Yes. This is a pastel light blue, like your typical baby shower blue. Gorgeous formula. Gorgeous. I just said I wasn't going to keep saying that, and I kept saying that, but anyways. <laughs> Kid is actually one of the last ones that I got from this collection, and I don't even know why. It's like a creamsicle type of pastel orange uh, I feel like this color has been kind of in this year for spring I've seen a couple collections have colors that are similar um, I've actually included it in comparisons in my Instagram this color is, is in right now this is what spring 2020 <laughs> the next beauty that we have is pop and this is not typically a spring color it's a gray like a light gray I don't know, it fits nicely here. Um, but I don't usually think of gray as a you know spring collection type of color. I feel like gray is more like either wintry or even might be folly. But I mean, it's beautiful here and it goes perfectly well with the other colors. So I'm not complaining and I actually love this one. I mean, I love all of them. Next up we have Piglet and this is just like Calf is your typical baby shower blue. Piglet is your typical baby shower pink, pastel pink. Has a, you guessed it, gorgeous formula <laughs> and a beautiful, beautiful color. 
Joey is a very, very, very light pink, but I don't even feel like I can describe it as a pink. I feel like it's more of a nude with like heavy pink undertones. I don't even know. This made my top 10 um, polishes video where I selected like my favorite neutral. And this is it. Th this color is amazing because these types of colors usually tend to be streaky and have bad formulas. And this one doesn't. It's creamy. It's gorgeous. It's so clean. Love it. And last but not least, we have Chick, the pastel yellow. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. All of them are. All of them have great formulas. Gorgeous colors. I don't even know. I sound like a broken record, but these um, yellows tend to be very difficult to apply and this is one of them that with two coats you're gonna be good you're not gonna need three and that's not that common for these types of yellows like the pale yellows are almost white but not really and they tend to be chalky and streaky this one's not like that at all all right guys so that was the dimension nails born innocent collection all these colors are available online. The collection's not limited edition or anything. Sometimes I go out of stock, but she restocks them rather quickly. So if anything from here caught your attention and I, I go that way because I put them on my side, um, you should be able to find them no problem. Um, that's about it. So for the giveaway, remember guys, read the description below to see how to enter. And I wish everybody good luck and I hope you enjoyed this um, little, I don't know, trip down memory lane for me I guess because this is not a collection that came out in 2020 it came out in 2019 but I never actually did a full review I, I've kept reviewing them as I get them throughout the months little by little and I never had a chance to actually put them together so I'm glad I did I hope you guys enjoyed it if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel my tiny channel <laughs> thank you so much have a great day and I hope to see you guys next time bye